out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Three left for the Indians, and it's still three to one. The first baseman Eric Hosmer is in, due up for the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the first part baseman. of the lineup that can get Eric something going. Osmer. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at-bats. Well, as demonstrated there, that's a tough pitch to do anything with. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Eric Cosmo becomes the first out in the bottom of the sixth inning. Starlin Castro stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. That's a big pitch right there. It could change the at bat. When you're facing a good hitter like this, that first pitch, strike one, is so important as to who's going to control this at bat. Right now, pitcher's got the advantage. Uh, and he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. Tyler Saladino. Tyler Saladino is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing and one. Good change up there as he takes command 0 and 2. I got to say his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well and it's a big reason why he's had success. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now and the inning is over. Three up. Three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. On to the back third tonight. Stick around on MLB Network. Back here at Kauffman Stadium here in Kansas City. Seventh inning coming up with the Indians on top. But before we get any further, let's Center check out our game summary Roberto for the first six Tejeda. innings. The Royals get some action in the bullpen going now as a left-hander starts to throw. Line toward the gap in left center. And there's a base hit. So maybe some insurance here to lead off the seven. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Well, back in the day, you would hope your leadoff man can now work batting. a walk or leg out an infield baseman. single, but not in today's Pedro game. Guevara. Now they expect the leadoff hitter to have a little pop, just like this guy. Nice leadoff double. Now a spin and a throw back to second, and the runner will get back standing. Into the box now, Pedro Guevara. He swings and grounds it to short. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Ready once again, Marcus Semien. He's looking for hit number three here in this at bat. First pitch coming, here it is. And here's a ball hit in the air. Milano coming on. He can't get to it. This one's down. And the runner from third crosses the plate, and it's a four to one game. Well, that's a big base hit right there. Now Number you got 14, a three run lead. You always play to beat that bloop and that blast that can hurt you late in the game. And now they've got that cushion. Canerco will stand in here but before he does let's take you back to the very first inning this was a two run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start he comes set here's the nothing and nothing pitch and that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. Semyon rounds the corner and is headed home. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. The runner from first crosses the plate. Well, you just keep adding on. That's how you win how games, and he's a big part third of it right here. That's his third RBI, Colin and they extend Moran. the lead in this ballgame. Action in that KC pen now as a right-hander's begun to loosen up. Standing in now, Colin Moran. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. And no one can corral that one. Base hit. Conerco rounds third and is digging for the plate. And that'll score the run from second as they open it up now to 6-1. to one. Well, I love it when guys are aggressive with the runner the scoring batter. position. First pitch, right he jumps fielder. all over to drive Abraham in the run. Almonte.
In now, Abraham Almonte. And that's in there, base hit. Moran is on his way home. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. He comes to the plate with the runner in scoring position. He swiped that first pitch early, kind of ambushed him. I don't think the pitcher expected him to swing that first pitch. Xavier Bravo enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Xavier Bravo. Now a throw over and late reactions and they got him. Decisions like that have to be made knowing who you've got at the plate. This guy can put one over the fence no problem so that wasn't very smart baseball. And the first pitch is chopped foul right at home plate. It's strike one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Another one sent foul. Here comes another 0 2. There's a swing and a high pop up. Hosmer is there for it. And that retires the side. So they score four times time on five base hits, no strike. errors, and no one left. Getting late, stretch time now in Kansas City. It's the Indians 7 and the Royals.